All right, guys, welcome to CDA 2022. We're at the Macintosh Trendoff Sonus Fopper. There, there really is no <laughs> head on this on head on this nail right here. This is the booth, right? This is where you guys want to be. I've actually done a couple demos in here before. I'm gonna let you guys know some of those in just a minute. We're gonna chop them up for you. But also what I wanted to do is there are a lot of companies involved in making this thing possible. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go around to each individual head of the companies and they're gonna talk their piece about how things were involved and why they're why, why their gear is so superior. So we're gonna talk about that stuff. We're gonna do it right at the intro. Welcome to CDA 2022 and our 11.12.6 immersive demonstration. Our Officina Acustica room combines aesthetics with advanced acoustic design, is manufactured in Italy, and then built here in Dallas. Trinov's Altitude 32 renders all 29 channels of the system with the benefits of Trinov's unique optimizer technology, while 17 Sonus Faber loudspeakers plus 12 of their subwoofers will create an unparalleled immersive audio environment. 19 Macintosh amplifiers provide truly massive power to drive all of these speakers, and Kaleidoscape's Terra server and Strato player deliver the reference quality images and sound that have made them the industry's leader for private cinema. Finally, the Mad VR Envy adds best-in-class HDR tone mapping to deliver the ultimate picture quality and immersion. Representatives from all of these companies will be just outside after the demo to answer any questions that you might have. Now, relax and enjoy the show. Talk to me, Dad. Come on, Dad, you can do it. Don't think. Hi folks, we're here at the CDA 2022 show um, to display a new theater uh, along with um, our partner for Trinoff for the processing. Um, power wise, we've got 14,000 watts and we also have a new speaker in wall, in theater type uh, speaker larger than in walls, but more for the custom install from Sonus Faber called the Arena. Hey everyone, I'm Richard Lutovsky, co-founder and CEO of MadVR Labs. Really glad to have this opportunity to tell you a little bit about what we're doing here today. So the MadVR Envy is a video processor. It goes in the chain right before your projector or display. We provide cinematic HDR using our dynamic tone mapping, industry standard HDR processing, phenomenal. Aspect ratio control, nonlinear stretch, instant aspect ratio control, I should say, which is really important to create that uh, seamless experience. Uh, today, we're also debuting our, our early cut of our motion interpolation uh, that really provides this beautiful clarity and motion that is unlike anything else before. This is the world's first AI-based motion interpolation algorithm. And things like subtitle management and all sorts of goodies. If you're after the show or you have any questions, please come see us or look us up online. We're happy to help you. Officina well, Acoustica is... Um is a place, is a magic cave where I do my things. And uh, what we are presenting here is two products in me, 
The cove, that is the shell of the room, the shell of the room is built with our proprietary walls that has a hinge that connect one wall to the other with a hook that keep everything together inside, say tight, all the sounds not coming out is completely sealed. And uh, in internally, we have the acoustic interior design, our flagship product. How it looks and sounds and performs. The way we, we, we use the room is a system. We, we, we don't do acoustic panel. We, we cannot sell you an acoustic panel. We can sell you a system that taking in consideration every little things into the room, the space, the dimensions, and how the sounds flow into the room. And our acoustic interior design is taking care about to make it even and trying to linearize the response of the room as much as we can inside of the various tiers of seating. We have three tiers of seating, and uh, let's say that we are quite linear in all the three. So these are actually in theaters throughout the world, right? So we, we actually have some here in the U.S. already, are already in, in effect. Yes, indeed. We are going to, next week, indeed, we are going to have a demo facility prepared with Srinov in Connecticut. We are going to build up that next week. And this room, I've been already built it and uh, build it up and tear down five times because we use it at uh, ISE with a different group of partners. Then we rebuild it at our places to change the speakers and change uh, with a little bit of modification. We are here with, uh, with Sonus Faber. So this is our power. We can manage to have the same interior design, having any kind of speakers, any kind of electronic to build up a great experience. So we are able to manage to have these things for next ISE in February that will be two meter longer, one meter larger, different set of speakers, different set of amplifier, and we are going to be presenting again with a different flower and so it's, it's completely different. Okay, good morning. Um, I like to introduce uh, what we did uh, at Cydia uh, 2022. We have um, different partners for this uh, uh, demo room. And uh, I can start uh, from where we decided to be here and was to create the best experience for the end user. And I will say this many, many times because for me, what is the most important things is give to the owner what we pay for. And sometimes we think that it's like that, but it's not like that. And uh, so we, Discuss with Trinov, we decide with Officina Acoustica, like we decided that. with Barco, Cali Escape, uh, same screen, we get also the Audio Quest cable, the Mad VR unit, because all these brands are the best in their own field. So the experience can be really the best ever. And this is this was the starting point. The system is pretty interesting because uh, we have as a Macintosh group the new speaker of Sonus Faber, the Arena Line. The Arena Line will hit the uh, custom installation world in a different way because our way to do this is bring the knowledge on the i fi industry, so the two channel industry, and bring that on the CI. So we call that CI Fi. The CI Fi for us is really to give to the end user the best sound in the room, but respecting the standard of the home theater environment because uh, there are exact standards, exact rules. We want to be there. We will share all the information of measurement and everything on the speaker because we want to be open and the people need to know the reality of the product. So we have the speaker, we have the sub, we have a new subs that is quite interesting. Uh, you will see more on the tech doc, but in reality is really a super fast and articulated subs without vibration. So here the configuration is an 11.12.6 and we have 12 subs. Eight on the front, four on the back with a bus management made by the train of processor. And this help us to have a kind of array of subs on the front that fill the room in an homogeneous way. And all of these are powered by the Macintosh amplifier. This room with the people that are there, I think can give a good experience to the people. And this is what we hope we are here for. Uh, enjoy the people. So uh, welcome to booth, uh, what are we? Uh, 26097 at Cedia. It's all kind of a blur. It's been a hectic show. Uh, the room you see behind us uh, 
it, the system is based on an altitude 32 for the processing and sort of the brains of the system. Uh, we have 19 Macintosh power amplifiers and uh, it's an 11.12.6 Sonus Faber speaker layout. Uh, but the Altitude 32 is the, the heart and soul of the system and is capable of doing pretty much anything you want to throw at it. And one of the reasons why we can even do uh, an 11.12.6 system is that the Altitude is fully configurable. We don't have any limitations. If you had a, a 32 channel system and you wanted to do you know, a 1.31 setup with mono but 31 subs, it, you could do that. It would be silly, but you could, and it's just an, it gives you an idea of how flexible the system is and, frankly, we think should be. We have, as you may see in the background here, an unusual uh, 3D microphone of our own design. The, there are four microphone capsules in there in a tetrahedral array. And the idea is that as we test, the, uh, during calibration, as we test each speaker in turn, we're looking at the time arrive, you know, the arrival times of all of the sound waves as they pass through that array of microphone capsules. And using that information, we can triangulate on the sounds and figure out exactly where each speaker is to within plus or minus one degree of azimuth or the points of the compass. Uh, plus or minus, so plus or minus one degree this way, plus or minus one degree vertically in elevation and one centimeter of distance. So we're building a very accurate three-dimensional map of your particular theater. The reason why that's so important is that we have another technology that is enabled by all the, that information called remapping. Remapping allows us to virtually move speakers within your room. We'll use the two or three speakers closest to where a sound should have been to create a phantom image of the sound actually coming from the, the correct place. And this is especially important nowadays because the, the major immersive audio formats, you know, Dolby, DTS, and Auro 3D, they can't even agree on where all the speakers should be. So even if you had the luxury of starting with a blank piece of paper, you still have a, uh, a challenge, like, you know, what do you decide to do? With remapping, a single sensible array of loudspeakers uh, can handle all three formats and you don't have to think about it. They, all three of them work great uh, without the hassle of having to have redundant speakers. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up from the booth out here at CDA 2022. This was a lot of fun to, to get to, to bring to you guys. Tons of demos in there. Got to rub elbows with the giants, as it may be, from each of the individual companies. I love this freaking thing. You guys know I've been here since Monday checking this stuff out, giving you guys update and updates and different pictures and stuff like that. But just seeing this thing is just incredible. And you can actually see this thing pinned to the max whenever those, uh, those, those bombs go off in there. So it's really, really cool. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Great high five. Check them out in Houston. That's all I got for you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Catch you next time.